Hello everyone, today's shave we're gonna go for the hardware and one that has been asked for a few people I'm talking about the Parker Solo Edge I have to thank Parker for sending this because there was a few people asking about it I contacted them and they were very kind to send it so we're gonna give it a go today and see what I think of it so Parker Solo Edge for today to try it brush I'm going to the Frank shaving G7 knot synthetic pretty good easy to leather and easy to maintain so let's go put it to soak straight away now the brush is there soaking I was gonna wet the face and open the, the the soap and everything but if I'm gonna open it then we'll be dry so we're gonna open and load the blade and get get it ready and then we'll wet the face and go for the soap so here we go Parker solo edge let's unbox it one nice touch I have to say I'm gonna show it I'm gonna put it back and show it when you open this is what it looks like lift for instructions nice explaining how you load the blade and all that and all about the blade there so you can see the weight 94 grams the length 9.8 the design it's a two-piece and it's half blades they explain the whole thing here really nice touch I have to say really nice touch so let's leave it there and let's keep going with the unboxing There we go, unboxed. Really nice touch. Gonna say it again, that little leaflet, the way it is there. And the packaging is cardboard, so this actually looks like recyclable cardboard. So nice. Now, since there's no blade inside, but they send me a hundred pack of their half blades. So here we go, we're gonna take one off to load in the blade. I like the way this is packed as well, really nice. Easy to open and easy to take it off, pretty good. Let's leave the blades there on the back as well. Actually, I'll leave it there on top. And now let's unwrap this one. There we go, loaded, very easy to load. It twists, is, you have to grab it here or by the head and then it just twists and lifts the top cap. Same thing to lock it down. Very easy to put the blade as well. Nice, really nice and feels like quality. The only thing I wanna check is the knurling here cause it's vertical, there's no horizontal ones. So otherwise, whew, and it's hefty as well. The other thing as well, the blade gets stuck to the razor straight away because there's a magnet. I hope you can see there on the middle so really nice let's leave it here and now let's wet the face and then open the soap there we go let's grab the soap for the soap i went back to hags and this time is gonna be the soberanos de barbierias it's a talo base he's old talo base it's one of the barber shops that i love as well i'm gonna read the scent notes which are on the back there for this one so scent notes and this is a lot of them yuzu actually you know what i'll show it and you guys can stop the video and read it there you go otherwise it'll take longer to do the video but uh, it's one of my favorite ones it's a pity that this discontinued hopefully he'll bring it back even with a different base because this one smells really really good so let's go barbearia de soberanos hags old tallow base there we go now let's grab the brush and let's load it there we go just washed it let's put it to dry on the back there now let's start lettering There we go, just leathered. Yeah, I forgot how good this place is and how easy it is to leather. You guys can see, just I'm just trying to straighten it out. It's just pff, excellent. And I know the post filling is gonna be great besides this scent. <laughs> there we go. Now let's just put it on the back there, ready for second pass and grab the razor. The other thing I have to say, it's actually pretty hefty and feels like quality. Really nice. Yeah. Actually, let me check one thing here. Wet the hand. Hand is wet. Let's go. Hmm. I don't know if it's the finishing. It does feel like actually pretty easy to, to grab. It's not slippery. Nice. So now let's see how it performs. Let's go. Parker Solo Edge with a half Parker blade in it first use let's go 
very easy to use. Ooh, does feel, yeah, very easy to use. I like to give the first few strokes and, and give it a go and see what I think on the first few strokes. Very easy to use. You find the angle straight away. Very, very easy. So let's wash this up and let's keep going with the shave. Very easy to clean up as well. Easy. The channels are not that big, but they cleaned up really, really easy. Maybe because it's just a single edge. It just uh, cleaned up without any problem whatsoever. There we go. So let's keep going with the shave now. There we go, first pass done. Ooh, very easy to use this one. Very, very easy to use. Mildish, it's not aggressive at all. Yeah, efficiency wise, it's on the really mild side as well. Definitely need to go a second time, but most of the stuff was taken out as you guys saw. But uh, the thing that is impressing me, besides the heftiness of it, is how easy it is to use. It's definitely a mild one, a good beginner, definitely a good beginner. Um, yeah, really impressed with it actually. It's just efficiency wise, I still have loads there. I have to go now a second time, that's for sure. I don't think I would be able to do uh, one pass with this one, but uh, something tells me that second pass will just mold through the rest of it and I'll be grand with it because, for example, here are the cheeks. Only if I go like this across, I can feel a small bit there. A load, a load here and a load here. Chin area. Yeah, chin area is actually pretty good, like almost nothing there. A bit here on the sides, the complicated area where it kind of twirls there for me. Most times yeah definitely have to go across yeah nice very nice let's go wet the face and get ready for a second pass now there we go let's try the hands there and now let's grab the brush and let's get ready for the second pass There we go, just paint it a bit there. You guys can see, just straight leather. Just keep straightening it out there. Woo. This scent is just oh, so good, so good guys. Let's put it on the back there. Let's grab the razor, Parker, solo edge with a half Parker blade and let's go across. There we go, second pass is done. Yeah, very easy, looks. Ooh, did the job now on the second pass, easily enough. Nice, sweet. Now, let's wet the face and let's check for the growth because when you still have a bit of soap there in slickness, and this is pretty slick, this soap, you still can't see if there's anything left for sure. But uh, if it's all done, we'll go and check how much we have left there. So let's go. There we go, now let's check how much we have left there. Lovely, gorgeous scent. Lovely, lovely, silky, silky smooth leather. Very sleek as well. Now, let's go, let's take this off. Actually, there was nothing there left to do. Pretty nice shave, let's go. There we go, now let's pet the face. Lovely, petted the face there. Ooh, feels really nice. Let's go now for some witch hazel and tea tree oil. Here we go. There we go. Lovely, jubbly. Hmm, what a great shave. Now let's let this dry. I'm gonna wash all my stuff and I see you back for the post shave. See you in a bit. We're back, let's go into the post shave. We're gonna go, as always, balm first. Barbearia de Soberanos by Hex. Let's go balm first. Perfect. Now, let's cover this up, put it on the back, and now let's get the splash. Barbearia de Soberanos by Hex. The splash now, alcohol base. There we go. Ooh, lovely. Gonna just add a bit more. Small bit more. Lovely. Put it on my head as well. Woo! What a gorgeous shave. And I love this scent, guys. Love it. Let's put this here on the back. And now let's go for the recap of the shave, the conclusions on the razor. I have a few things to say about the razor. So first of all, recap the shave and then I'll talk about the razor in the end. Today we used the Frank shaving, G7 knot, the leather master as they call it. Lovely handle. I like the way I can grab this without any problem whatsoever. And it's a very easy synthetic to use and to maintain. Then we used 
Soberanos de Barbearia by Hags, uh, Tallow Base, his old Tallow Base. I love this soap, I love this scent, it's just gorgeous. There's loads of scent notes, as you guys can see there on the back. Intensity wise, it's about a six, um, maybe seven, going to seven. The post shave feeling is great, great. So let's put it there. That's the soap. Then we finished off with the rest of the set. So the balm first and then the alcohol splash. Gorgeous as well. And I know this is gonna last for most of the day. Uh, it doesn't last the whole, whole day, but by five, six o'clock, I still have a bit of the scent there. But then dinner time is kind of gone away already. So that's more or less how this one works. Blade, we used the Parker blade or better, the half Parker blade. Uh, they're very smooth, easy to use blade not a bother with them. Now let's talk about the razor itself. First of all I love the heftiness. Uh, loading wise is very easy especially when you have your hands dried. Very easy. Take the top cap. There's a magnet there on the bottom. You load the blade there on the top so not a problem at all. Problem comes afterwards and that's a neat peek I'm, I'm gonna have with it. It's let's put the blade there okay. We'll put the blade, load the blade. Very easy. The magnet pushes it in. Now Let's unload the blade. <laughs> My hands are kind of dry and it's very hard to take it off. Now, in a way it's good because there's not going to be wobbliness on the blade, not going to be easy. There we go. I kind of have to make a lot of pressure on it. And if I had my hands wet, it would have been impossible. Uh, I had to really dig into it, had to dry my hands to be able to take the blade off. I would, I don't know if they're going to do another version of it, but if they did, it would be great. Like the top cap, leave it as it is, everything. You just make a small groove here on the sides, just a small indentation so that when it's like that we can grab the bar, the top of the, the grab the, 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 the sides of the blade like you know what I mean? Just a small indentation would make everything easier. Now it was easy for me to do this now because besides being actually and now I want to do it and I can't. Oh there we go. Yeah on the sides. I kind of have to really dig in to take it off like you know. That's the only nick pick I have with it. Shaving wise and that's great I have to say. Really really great. Let's just close this. Very easy, as you guys can see. Shaving wise, very mild. Um, I won't be able to do a one pass shave with this one, but the second pass just took everything off, as you guys can see. So two pass shave without any problem whatsoever. Love the way the angle is there. It's very easy to find the angle. Very easy to field the blade. You don't have a lot of blade field, but you know what the blade is doing, which is excellent. Loved it. I was afraid of the gnarling. No, no problem whatsoever. Even with the hands wet, it wasn't sleeping at all. They could improve it of course, there's always improvements that could be made, they could put small grooves on the horizontal there, but uh, I have to say this is a, a really good one, especially if you're transitioning from uh, discardable razors, if you're moving from the discardable razors to a safety razor or something, this is a very easy one to grab and deal with it. It doesn't have the osc oscillating head, but uh, anyone that uses beaks or something like that, they'll be able to do a proper shape with this without any problem whatsoever. And uh, it's not gonna bite you per se because it's on the mild side. Very, very happy with it. I'm actually gonna do something that um, I normally don't do, which is I'm gonna try it on my head at some stage just to feel, because it's mildish and I wanna feel if it's gonna be easy to shave the head here, you know? So yeah, so next time I use this one with you guys, I'll let you know how it was on the head shave. As you guys know, head shaves for me are in the shower. I don't do it in video. I promised to a few of you guys that are always asking that I'll do a head shave when I get to 5k and I will. I promise. But uh, it's my time for head shaves in the shower. As for the Parker, really satisfied with it. There's a few improvements they can do but it's sneak peeks guys. Very very small little things. That thing about the blade which they were very litentious with the, the magnet there and it's just excellent that part. Uh, just keeps the blade there. Just when you want to take it off if your hands are wet it's very very hard to take it off. You have to really dry your hands to take it off. Uh, otherwise, the other thing as well I forgot to say, being a two-piece razor, it's excellent because it's easier to load the blade as well. That's another touch that I think it's very impressive as well. Very easy to load, very easy to use, mild, good for beginners. Excellent, excellent razor. So that's my thoughts on the first use of the Parker Solo Edge razor. Lovely. Let's put it there. That's the whole set we used today. I hope you guys enjoy this shave. I did, I had an excellent shave. Whew.
Ooh, my skin is feeling gorgeous. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put a like on it. Really, really helps the channel. And if you want to help the channel even more, there's some affiliate links down below. Most of them, I actually, I call it affiliate, but most of them I don't even get anything back from it, except sometimes they send me a few things. I have to be honest. Uh, but most of it is for you guys with discounts and codes if you want to purchase anything. That's it for me now. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.